Hey Summit, this is Edward, you know Jake. We're here with your weekly update. And Jake, before we get to any announcements, uh, I want to address what we've been talking about on Sundays uh, the last few weeks, last about three or four weeks. We've been talking about some culturally relevant things that we're dealing with in our culture from marriage to love to genders to sexuality uh, to wokeness. And, and Jake, I've had so many come up and just comment. Uh, they've never thought about it that way, they're, how God is stretching them and how they're seeing scripture and, and they're growing right now. Now, now last week we talked about a pretty, um, well, it, it, it was a subject that it was a little sticky for some. They'd never heard of us talk that bluntly in church about sexuality. Um, I, I want to tell you this Sunday, I'm going to be joined by my wife on stage, and we're going to be having an honest conversation about marriage, about women and the role of women in marriage and just our culture in general. And so I want to encourage you. Uh, I know somebody made a comment and said, man, I bet some parents were really uncomfortable last week if they had kids in the service. Listen, I get that, and, and I want to be sensitive to that, and we don't want to ever cross a line just for shock value. So let me just say this. If you have a kid that's under the age of sixth grade, let me invite you to let them go and experience the best kids ministry in the state, maybe the country. Uh, we have one of the best environments for children, I think anywhere around. And so this Sunday would be a great Sunday. if you. I know you guys like to bring your kids in, and we encourage that. We're okay with that. But this Sunday, do the subject matter. We would really encourage you to let your kids go back there and be a part of that ministry uh, back there and then come back and join us. If you're watching this on Sunday morning, uh, you've got about 10 minutes before we kick off, and you can go back there and check those kids in. And then it's beginning in November, I'm really excited about this, Jake. We're going to start a new series on the book of Philippians, and we're going to spend the whole month of November and the whole month of December through the holidays in that uh, New Testament book of Philippians that Paul wrote to the church of Philippi. That's the one book in Scripture I've read more than any other book. Really? Yep. Oh, that's cool. I've, so, I've read the book of Philippians more than any other book. Well, that's good to know because I may get you to preach some of that. Okay. Uh, and that way I can just, you know, sit out there and heckle you like you do me. So uh, Sounds anyway, fun. Just, just be aware of that. We will always want to be sensitive and, and it's got some really cool mm -hmm. stuff coming up. Uh, I know in two weeks... You, We've got the uh, fall festival coming up. Jay's going to talk about that in a minute. On on that Sunday, it's going to be a pretty dang special Sunday, so you don't want to miss that as well. Also, let me address this. Our capital campaign, uh, you've had about four weeks to pray about that, and I, I know many of you uh, have already given to that. Thank you for contributing and being a part. Uh, we still need more of you to kind of give towards that as we come to the close of the end of the year. That bid only lasts for so long or what we're doing. Uh, we know some of you are doing end of the year gifts. So if you could just contact us, let us know kind of what you're thinking uh, and just so we can plan. I mean, we want to be good stewards of what God's given us and the funds that are there, but we also have a window that we got to honor certain bids and what we're doing. So thank you for giving. If you've already given, thank you for being a part of that. Uh, it means so much to us and our elders and just as our team as we try to do what we do here both in live and online for you that join us online. So just kind of a couple of things. I know yep. it's a little different than how we start our normal videos, but felt like we needed to jump into there uh, yeah. and kind of Good in, stuff. bring you guys up today. So I know we've got uh, membership and fall festival. Talk to us about that, Jake. Membership on October the 22nd. Please let me know if you plan on attending because we're going to serve a meal. We're going to have one of our small what groups. I don't know yet, but one of our small groups that meets after church on Sundays is going to hang out in membership. The, the leaders are. They're going to serve us a meal. Oh, wow. And um, kind of get to know they want to start reaching out and be a, a beginning point for those of you that go through membership and then have questions about small groups. That's good. Because they already meet on Sundays after church. So they're going to start coming to membership just so you can meet them right. as leaders. But they're also going to they're going to serve you a meal. They want to serve you while you're taking membership. So you got an RSVP to me either by filling out the communication card or the online form or sending me an email at jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. Then on the 29th, we have Fall Festival. Still Big need time. Still need volunteers. 
where the children's area is and where the foyer is. There is a table right there. Can't on the, miss it. Can't miss it. It's right by the information desk. As you go into the children's area, you can sign up there. Just sign up on one of those forms. Ashley will contact you and tell you what all that entails. Like if you want to do a booth, sign up on the booth form. If you want to uh, volunteer with Set Up Teardown, sign up on that form. There's like five That's or good. six different things that we need, areas of, of volunteers that we need. Just sign up. Ashley will contact you. It's real easy to do. It's a lot of fun, but we need a lot of people to pull this thing off. So come on, Summit. Let's be a part. I was on the phone this morning uh, with somebody that's going to be here for Fall Festival, uh, Johnny Morgan. You'll know more about him <coughs> on, on that day. Johnny and I were on the phone this morning talking about what mm -hmm. that's going to look like. He's going to be here. Uh, Johnny runs a ministry called Obedience to Death. It's one of the coolest things you've ever seen. Uh, he's going to be um, be set up during Fall Festival. So okay. I'm excited about it. I yeah. mean, Is he going to be at church uh, this Sunday? He'll be at church on Sunday morning. You don't want to miss it. Johnny and I go yeah. back 23 years and cool. uh, uh, it's just a, it's a cool deal. We were laughing this morning about that. Um, our relationship being so long. So what else you got to do? Thanks for everybody that showed up to a golf tournament yes. on Tuesday for the student ministry. Uh, appreciate all the sponsors and all of the people that donated uh, prizes and all of the folks that played uh, raised money to send kids to camp. That's good. You know, up until last Wednesday, I was planning on playing the golf tournament, and it dawned on me Wednesday afternoon, I can't play yeah, golf. Yeah, you can't play. And then it dawned on me, I can't play golf without the cast. It wouldn't have turned out good for you. It wouldn't have turned out good either way. Mm, nope. Cast or no cast? Nope, there's some good players out there. Uh, were there really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, um, I, I find out Tuesday, Jake, whether or not yep. this thing's healing up. Yep. So I may or may not have a cast next week. Maybe in surgery. I could be. We in hope surgery. not. Praying against that. We hope not. So, uh, Summit, we love you. Thank you for today. Thank you for uh, being here. If you're here on Sunday, thanks for uh, listening. If you're traveling, join us online this Sunday. Um, invite somebody to church. I'm just telling you, we're seeing so many things. There's so many moving parts behind the scenes right now of people asking questions, good questions about Jesus. Um, so, if they're traveling, do they invite somebody to travel with them? They can, to watch the service. Can. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. So if you're here, if you're planning on coming in person, invite somebody to come with you. If you're traveling, invite somebody to travel with if you're you. Traveling to Florida, watch I'll it. go. If you're staying home, invite somebody to come to your house to watch. If you're going to Hawaii, I'll go. I'll be the chaplain. Hey, who are we calling out this week? We got anybody call out? Oh, oh no, I, I got somebody. I got okay. somebody. Dennis Cullison. We Dennis, already did him. We did him three weeks ago. But I got to do it again, man. Okay. Dennis right. Dennis showed up big time for me this last week. Okay. Uh, we did a, a memorial service. And, and, man, I just appreciate yep. him uh, coming up. He can do it all. Taking his day. He can do he works, it all. And he was able to come up and serve. Yep. And uh, Dennis, love you, bro. Thank Sound, you for lighting, serving. Sound, lighting, everything. Sound, light. He did it all yep. uh, the other day at that service. And so cool. uh, I, we, I know we just called him out but man, I'm yeah. so grateful for him yesterday that's a double just, call out um, serving and being a part of that you want to call somebody else out no you didn't stole the thunder Summit we love you